Okay, Mike, this is for you. I will show you how to use the definition of derivative to find the derivative of this function. And of course, at the end, we will talk about the power rule as well. So let's focus on the definition of derivative. We know that if this is the function, then f prime of x is by definition, we will have the limit as h goes to zero. And then we have a difference quotient right here. On the top is f of x plus h and then minus f of x, and on the bottom, we have that innocent h. Okay, now let's go ahead and set this up. Let's write down the limit as h goes to zero. And then for the top right here, f of x plus h, we just have to plug in x plus h into this x. So we have the cube root of this x becomes that. So I will put this down in red, the x plus h. And then we will have to put this in a parentheses and square that. And we will minus f of x, which is just that, the cube root of x squared. And of course, on the bottom, we still write down the h. OK, so this is just a setup. But now, what can we do? Last time, when I show you guys the square root example, we used the conjugate. So now the question is, can we also have a conjugate for the cube root? And the answer to that is, of course, yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to show you guys this right here, right? And with that, we have to recall how to factor the difference of two cubes. So let me write this down for you guys on the side. So this right here is the formula to factor the difference of two cubes. And right here, we already have the a minus b term. Right? You take this for your a, and you take this for your b. So all in all, we just have to multiply this part that means I have to square the a and then also you know, add the a, b together. And then I will have to add the b square and multiply this part on the top and on the bottom. So this is just like the conjugate in the square root situation. So that way we can produce a cube minus b cube and then the cube and the cube root can cancel each other out. So that would be wonderful. So let's go ahead and do that. I will put this in blue. So on the top, I will multiply this, and this is my a. I'll put everything in red. So we will have the cube root of x plus h squared, and then that was the a. I will have to do a squared, so it's like this. And then we continue. We add a times b. So this is just the cube root of x plus h squared times the cube root of x squared. And then lastly, we add b squared, which is this, which is in red, cube root of x squared, and then I'll put this in your parentheses and then square. So this is it for the top, and then for the bottom, we do the same thing. So let me just write this down for you guys. So then from here, we'll just multiply out the top, but I will have to write down the limit as h goes to zero. And then for the top, it's actually pretty easy because we have this product in this form already. So we know the result is going to be a cube minus b cube. Once again, this is the a, this is the b. When you raise this to the third power, you pretty much just get the inside. And if you would like now, we'll just multiply this out. x plus h squared, we get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So once again, this is your a cube. You just pretty much cube this, the cube will cancel out, we just have the inside. And then we minus the b cube, which is this, and you cube that, and you just get the inside, which is just x squared. And that's pretty much it, right? And notice on the top, we can cancel out this and that, they become zero, x squared minus x squared dot just zero. And then remember, the purpose of doing this was to simplify the top, and then that's why we multiply out the top. So with that, we are not going to multiply out the bottom because we can wait for good things to happen. So let's go ahead and just write this down. Yep, just like this. And now, notice, after we cancel the x squared on the top, in fact, we have this h, and this is h squared, so we can factor out an h, right? So let's do that right here. Factoring out an h, I get 2x plus, when we factor on h, we get just h right here, right? Originally, it was an h squared, so now we have just h. And then, as you can see, this is the good things right? The good thing is going to happen. This h and that h can cancel each other out. And this is how we are going to get rid of the 0 over 0 in the limit situation. And then all we have to do now is just to plug in 0 into this h, this h, this h, 
then that's it, right? <laughs> so that's pretty much the final step. And I will just plug in the zero for the H and you will see that on the top is just nicely equal to two X. On the bottom, notice this is the Q root of X squared, right? And it's square that. So I will just write this down, Q root of X squared. But notice this square, in fact, you can bring it into the inside, okay, by the rule of exponents. So you can just multiply the two and the two together, you get to the fourth power. And then right here, this is you add, let's see, this is zero, so you have x squared inside, and then you also have x squared inside of the cube root. So you can just combine them together, and then you get the cube root of x to the fourth power again. And then lastly, you have what? This is once again cube root, and then x squared squared, you can just, you know, fix the exponent, you get x to the fourth power, like that. So, it's nothing but just x, I mean 2x on the top, over this plus this plus that, so it's three of them together, 3 cube root of x to the fourth power. Are we done? Not really, because we can actually simplify the x. So, this is actually the same as, let's write it down as 2 over 3, and this is x to the first power, over, I can write this as the power form, which is x to the 4 over 3 power, like this. And now, how can we simplify the exponent from here? Well, we know that this, you just subtract the exponent. So I will just do 2 over 3, and then it's x. You do 1 minus 4 over 3 power, and then when you do that, you get negative 1 third. So that's the new exponent, negative 1 third. And lastly, because this is negative, you can bring that down to the denominator. This is 2 over 3, x to the 1 third power. Of course, you all know the deal. I can write this back as the cube root. So finally, this is 2 third cube root of x. And this right here is the derivative for the function of the cube root of x squared. So that's it. It took us a while, but it's a lot of fun, especially doing the algebra exercise. And one thing you have to notice, this is perhaps something new to many of you guys. So this is how you can simplify the cube roots in the limit situation. And also from here to here, I didn't write down the limit anymore because I did plug in the zero into all the h. So I took the limits right here already. Well, well, I know this is the moment that you guys are waiting for. So. Why spend so long if we have a nice rule, right? So let me just write this down. So notice if f of x is equal to the cube root of x squared. So let me just write this down. Then, of course, we can find the derivative in a much easier way. Well, to do so, we have to look at this as a power form first. This right here is the same as saying x to the 2 third power and then by the power rule right here we can just go ahead bring the power to the front so we get two third and then x and then don't forget to minus one from the exponent and be careful two third minus one we get negative one third and then as you know this is the same as two over three and then x to the positive one third and lastly, this is just 2 over 3, and this is, of course, the same as the cube root of x. So, yes, we took like maybe 30 seconds to finish this, right? But this is the warning I want to give to all the Calculus 1 students. Don't think that you know all the Calculus once you know the power rule, all right? I know this is nice and easy, but Calculus is, of course, much more than just the uh, this Intel Q thing, right? So don't be so cocky once you know the power rule and then you can do power rule like here, 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 there. Sometimes power rule can make you cry. So be sure you pay attention in the class and uh, yeah, pay attention to the teachers and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys all like this video and this is it.